The year is 9 AD. A Roman army led by Publius Quintus Varus, marches through Germanic lands. Under Varus's command are 20,000 soldiers, consisting of three legions, the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Along with six auxiliary cohorts and three cavalry squadrons. Awaiting in an ambush for the Roman force is a confederation of Germanic tribes led by Varus's trusted officer Arminius. Arminius has betrayed his Roman brethren and sided with the Germanics, his natural people of birth. Arminius commands 15,000 Germanic tribesmen, whom await patiently for the perfect opportunity to strike the marching Roman army. As the Roman army marches through the dense forests of Teutoburg Forest, the Germanics and Arminius station themselves out of sight of the marching Romans. Arminius signals the attack.
the Germanics pull back their forces. The Romans suffer heavy losses, including all of their cavalry whom tried to flee the battlefield but were cut down. To make matters worse, upon the certainty of defeat, Varus the commanding general of the army, had committed suicide as opposed to being captured and tortured by the Germanics. The remainder of the Roman soldiers march on trying to escape the forests and find the nearest Roman settlement, though they are being stalked by the Germanics. Having the legionnaires fully surrounded the Germanics once again begin to assault the Romans. Exhausted and fully surrounded, the legionnaires form up into a defensive perimeter in an attempt to survive the brutal onslaught. The remainder of the Roman army is slaughtered, with the entirety of the army being wiped out. Though there are reports that a handful of soldiers survived and escaped to some nearby villages with other Roman soldiers being sold into slavery. Upon hearing of the defeat, the Emperor Augustus, according to the Roman historian Suetonius in the Twelve Caesars, was so shaken that he stood butting his head against the walls of his palace, repeatedly shouting, Quintilivere, Legionis Reda. Quintilius Varus, give me back my legions. The losses on both sides are reported at 16,000 to 20,000 Roman soldiers, and less than 1,200 Germanic warriors. Though these are estimates with the true numbers not being fully known. The legion numbers 17, 18 and 19 were not used again by the Romans. This was in contrast to other legions that were re-established after suffering defeat. The battle abruptly ended the period of triumphant Roman expansion that followed the end of the civil wars 40 years earlier. Augustus' stepson Tiberius took effective control, and prepared for the continuation of the war. Legio II Augusta, 20 Valeria Victrix and 13 Gemina, were sent to the Rhine to replace the lost legions. This video was created and edited by Total War Battles. The music used in this video is from Feria Fargi, his channel is linked in the description, and Total War Rome 2. This video was made using Total War Rome 2.
The mods used are in the description. If you want to help support the channel then become a channel member, the link is in the description. Subscribe for more and thank you for watching.